Moving forward, I'd now like to invite on stage uh, Mr. Venkat Subramaniam, Managing Director, St. Gobe and Suprog Business, to deliver the welcome address. He, of course, as the MD, is responsible for making sure that the top line and bottom line targets are succeeding. Honorable Union Minister for Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises, Sri Anand Gite, Mr. Deepak Lamba, President Times Conferences, distinguished speakers, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Sangoban Group, I am very pleased to welcome all of you to this special event. Sangoban is a large, multi-business global company which is a leader in most of its businesses. Today, I wish to speak to you a little bit about Sangaba and also a little bit about sustainability. This year, Sangaba is celebrating its 350th anniversary. This is an extraordinary milestone in the life of the company and its people. But even as we celebrate our unique history, we have set our sights firmly on the future and in particular in India, on shaping the future. Right through our journey of over three and a half centuries, and more so in the 20th and the 21st century, sustainability has been at the center of our strategy, our approach, and our commitment to the world. As the leader in providing materials and solutions for the habitat, where we live, work, and entertain, we do understand the impact buildings have on the environment. Buildings account for 40% of the energy consumed and 38% of the greenhouse gas emissions in industrialized countries. Everyone's future, therefore, depends on our achieving sustainable habitat solutions. Seven billion humans on the face of the earth in 2014 and going to 9 billion by 2050. It will no longer be possible to house everyone, as in the past. In India, urbanization is expected to grow from a level of about 30% to over 50% in the next couple of decades. The planet's resources are limited, and so we need to reinvent habitat Sustainable habitat is one of the responses that we have to this challenge. Reducing the impact on the environment and improving energy efficiency are the priority goals for Sangoban when deciding, designing innovative solutions for the habitat. As I said earlier, it's a proud moment for all of us as we celebrate the 350th anniversary of Sangoban in 2015. We have decided to take advantage of this exceptional opportunity to promote our values and the bonds that link us to our stakeholders. This anniversary is an opportunity and an occasion to remind everyone of the strength that is acquired through 350 years of history and 350 years of ongoing innovations. Smart Green Summit was born out of our desire to use this momentous occasion in our history to remind current and future stakeholders on the need to preserve the environment and develop habitats sustainably with continuous innovation. This summit brings together architects, designers, developers, green building rating agencies, government, academy, and the civil society with the objective of shaping the future. During the day, we would be enlightened by speakers who have done pioneering work in their field with sustainability at the core of their profession. Architect Simon Griffiths, with his vast experience in Asia, Pacific, and Middle East region, would be talking to us on marrying comfort with sustainability through design. We have architect James Edwards, partner at Foster and Partners, enlightening us on how daylighting enhances workspace productivity. Sri Prakash Gaur would share with us 
the vision of developing a smart and sustainable new capital for the state of Andhra Pradesh. Architect Vidur Bharadwaj, a familiar face and active member in the Green Building Fraternity in India, would share with us how technology can help conserve natural resources. We have more inspiring talks during the day from architect Meyer on linking sustainable construction with innovation and Dr. Nigel Oslin on acoustics, which is an important element in comfort in the buildings. The summit is also to bring together experts to discuss key topics that would shape the future of construction in India. You would therefore witness a panel discussion on how design thinking can help in creating sustainable habitat in a growing country like India. While we, we would be listening to eminent speakers over here, a panel of experts would be working on a white paper on skill building and the need for standards and codes for sustainable development through strategic roundtables. An important initiative as part of the 350th anniversary of our company was the Housing Innovation Challenge, linking two important and contemporary topics from the Indian context, social mass housing and smart cities. We had very enthusiastic participation from architects, designers, consultants, and people from the society. Today, we would be recognizing the winners of the Housing Innovation Challenge as well. I once again welcome all of you to the Smart Green Summit, a day packed with insights from several pioneers in the field of architecture, construction, and sustainability. Let me thank Sri Anant Gite, the Honorable Union Minister, for taking time from his busy schedule, that too, during the winter session of Parliament, to grace the occasion and inaugurate the Smart Green Summit. Thank you.